so final coming up a good one So, coming into this final, uh, we now know Pierre Mortefan has 24.4 points because he counts a fifth for this elimination. He will discard that result, uh, so he has 24.4. The best Matteo Iacchino can do is a first in this. If he gets a first, he will be on 25.8. So, Pierre will still be 1.4 points ahead if Matteo wins this final. If he doesn't, obviously, it's a point extra for every place back from first he finishes. Here we go. Lining up. Two, one. Oh, it's loads. No one Whoa. is over. Matteo Iacchino has had a very good start down this bottom end. Uh, it looks like Enrico Marotti upwind of him. Um, Matchet Rakowski looking pretty good on the challenger. The north side of Jordi Vonk has just got spat out the back. But we've got a Gastra up and challenging. Could be Ross Williams. Could be Sebastian Curdle, could be any one of them. And whoever it is, they are flying. And whoever it is, Matteo Iacchino is not at a good run in here. He's going to get smashed by all the guys coming in from the top. Ross Williams it is. No, he's not. He holds his line. Matteo Iacchino goes on the inside. Rakowski goes into the back of Marotti. And Ross Williams absolutely flying at last. It's took him a while. I actually gave him pain painkiller tablet earlier. <laughs> Seems to have worked at wonders. <laughs> Ross Williams, there we go. That's where we like to see the Brit out in the front. But check who's in second place. This next Matteo Iacchino is going to be on. Oh, my life. We are set for an absolutely thrilling last elimination of 2019. It's not even finished yet, and I'm calling it the way the results have gone. Ross Williams already round. Matteo Iacchino second. Marotti third. Then we've got to Sebastian Kirtle and Cedric Board, Matchet Rakowski, and then Tristan Algrave, followed by Jordi Vonk. Ross Williams trying to get his first win of this Bureau Valet Dream Cup. Whoa, Mateo, Mateo is pushing, he's pushing well too. This point that Ross is stealing from yeah. our 1.3 will be costly. Could be the difference. Yeah. At the end of the day, we don't know what's going to happen in the next elimination, but every place he can gain could make uh, you got to watch that jibe. He is going to be pushing. There's no way he's going to be cruising. Ross Williams, first. Lovely jibe from Ross. Matteo Iacchino, second. Third place, Marotti. Oh, Maciek's going direct, isn't he? Maciek's going direct and just goes round the outside. He had to outside. back off, though. <laughs> Ross Williams looking good. That is uh, Matteo Iacchino, the Italian. He hit a snake in the earlier elimination, which made he didn't qualify for the final. Everyone right. was hoping that that wouldn't be the deciding factor, and it's now looking like it might still be, but now it's going to be so close and come down to an all-important 11th elimination. Last jibe of uh, this final, Ross Williams. Will he get his first win here in New Caledonia? It looks like he will. Matteo Iacchino has done all he can, but he's not going to catch the Brit now, I don't think. Ross Williams from the Isle of Wight. Matteo Iacchino is not given up, but Ross is no, quick. He's, he's not quick. going to take that distance out of Ross in these conditions. And Ross Williams will claim his first victory of the 2019 Bureau Valet Dream Cup. And Matteo Iacchino has reeled Pierre Mortefon in to just over two points. 2.4 points ahead. Ross Williams yeah. is super happy now. He's had a good last day, actually. He had a PMS, which has cost him, but... Matteo Iacchino back in contention. Marotti. Uh, Marotti is pushing his way up. We've got uh, Cedric Board, uh, Tristan Algray, Machet Rakowski, um, all in there. Whoa! Somebody breathe. So, Matteo got two. So he has 27.1 points. Uh, Pierre Mortevon has 24.4. So the gap is two. Well, it's actually, it's only two points because that point one makes the difference. It's three, but it's 2.7. So it's still three. He needs to beat him by three places, but two places ahead, if you know what I mean. 
So let's say Mateo gets second, would give him 29.1. Uh, if Pierre finished fifth, he would lose. So he needs to finish within two places of Pierre. You see what I mean? Ahead. Say Pierre, Matteo finished second in the next one. He will have 29.1 points. Pierre, if he finishes fourth, would have 28.4. So he needs to finish within two places of Matteo. Matteo, Pierre. yeah. So for Matteo to take it, he needs to push Pierre three spots behind him. Wherever he is, still in wherever, Pierre's hands. Yeah, wherever he is, Pierre's got to be three spots back. Yeah, still mm. in Pierre's hands, no doubt about it. Um, if Mattel was to win the next one, he'd have 27.8 points. Would that make a difference? Not really, because Pierre would... Oh, no, Pierre could not then finish third. If he finished third, he would lose. He'd have 28 points. No, he wouldn't. I'm lying, he wouldn't. He would have... Uh... Third would give him 27.4. He'd still win, yeah. So he basically has to be more than two places behind him. Yeah. <sighs> Got to put him in 